Hey, what's up, GQ Sports? This is Miles Bridges, and this is Real Talent. First up, we have Carter, who's number three. Carter driving to the basket. He's doing a good job pacing himself, using his body and getting to the rim. He could have used his left hand, but that was that was still a good layup. Should have been an and one, in my opinion. He did a good job staying away from the sideline, just staying in the middle of the court so he could give himself options. That's the same thing I would have did. And his pace was really good. He didn't go too fast or too slow. He went at the right pace just to get to his spots on the court, and that, that was pretty good for me. On the second part, we have Carter playing defense. Okay, so I see he's playing in the middle of the zone. I used to hate playing against zones in, in high school because I never knew how to figure it out without good coaching. And I, I was always in the middle too, so I had to make the right plays. He, he made a pass to shift the defense and then he went back to the middle. Gave him a good up fake. Yeah, that, that's good footwork. I mean, I don't even think I had that type of footwork as a junior in high school because I could just jump over everybody. You could tell that he, he watched a little bit of Kobe from that move because that's the move that, that Kobe Bryant uses all the time. Especially when he's going against taller defenders, he tried to pump fake him and just get him off the ground just so he could get to the basket easier. He did a great job of shifting the defense by passing it first. Just him showing the ball to the defender and getting back to his right hand. That's good for a junior, honestly. Okay, we got him playing defense. Yeah, that's, that's good defense. Good bounce pass. If you play too close to a defender, he could easily go past you, but he did a good job recovering and, and stealing the ball from behind. I used to do that when I was a little kid. When somebody wasn't paying attention to me, I will try to come from behind him and steal the ball. He did a good job telegraphing where the ball handler was going. On the offensive end in the fast break, he does a great job of just pushing the pace and throwing a good bounce pass. I feel like if he just passed it as a chest pass, then it would have been stolen. And not too many people use the bounce pass anymore, except for if they're in a screen and roll, usually not in a fast break. He looks like a solid player. He looks like he loves the game of basketball. Using his fundamentals, playing defense. You don't see too many kids in high school playing defense nowadays. That just shows how dedicated somebody is to the game of basketball. So good job, Carter. Next up, we have Carter's teammate, Jaden. Oh, oh, time out. Dunking the ball. He, he, he looks solid. I mean, obviously, because I'm so athletic, I used to get these type of plays ran for me in high school and in college, even even today in the NBA. We, we see a team in the zone, and I think it's a 3-2 zone. One, two, three, yep. 3-2 three, zone. So the easiest play is to screen the back guy just so he could go for the lob. They didn't even recognize it. Even good advice for coaches to use. The team is in the 3-2 or 1-3-1, one, one, just screen the back guy if you have an athletic guy on the team and just throw the lob to him. Usually works. You see, that was the first play of the game too. Right here, just have him driving to the basket. No help comes, so he's just able to dunk the ball. Uh, for me, I, I just dunk the ball just because I have the ability to. When defenders are around, it's more beneficial for me to dunk the ball just so they won't block me. But if I if I can't dunk the ball, it'll be easier to lay it up. In that situation right here for Jaden, it was easiest to dunk the ball. I was in the eighth grade. No, seventh grade. Seventh grade, I started, I started dunking the ball. Not like off lobs or anything, just me driving to the basket by myself and dunking it. But I didn't start catching lobs until like eighth grade. You have to have good timing, good hands. It's more difficult than driving to the basket and dunking. We have him in transition right here. It looked like he could, he could drive to the hole from right here. To help defense, they get back and they're trying to protect the paint. So Jaden hits him with a step back and he sets his feet for the jump shot. He looks like an all-around player. I mean, he's athletic. He could he could dribble the ball. He could read the defense. He does a good job of, of setting his feet. Usually, you don't have players as a junior making these type of plays and reading defense like that. But yeah, when he put it behind his back, you could tell that he practices that a lot. I mean, that's good for his age that, he, that he's doing that. We have him driving to the hole. He sees three defenders on him, so he can either pass to the big man or the guy in the corner. But this defender right here who's guarding him, he comes over and helps on the big man, so this guy is gonna be open. He sees that, and he throws a bounce pass. He's just reading the defense. Not too many kids at that age could do that, playing at his own pace and, and reading the defense, because he could, he could easily force up a bad shot or a bad layup or turn the ball over right here, but he makes a great pass. The guy was waiting for him to throw a chest pass so he could steal it, but instead he, he bounce passes it to the guy in the corner and he knocks down the shot. That's good for Jaden for reading the defense. Jaden and Carter, keep doing a good job of getting better at basketball. Keep watching film and playing at your own pace. If you continue to do that, then you'll be in a Division I college very soon. 
All right, next up we have Dejanice. Oh, it's feisty on defense. The pass. Dang. Okay, let's break down Dejanice's game. Okay, so it looks like they're in a full court press. I think 2-2-1. Two, two, you have two defenders up here, two defenders right here, and then the center. Yeah, she just walks up to her and takes it. She has good hands, good passing vision. That was that was a great pass. You can't do a 2-2-1 two, two, in the NBA because players are too smart. That's usually done in high school and not even college either because players are too smart. But they do a great job of, of trapping the defender, taking the ball from her. And I don't even know how she's seen the girl running with her. She doesn't even look back. That was a great pass. Okay, speaking of defense, let's let's look at this next clip. Oh yeah, she's she's all over the defender right now. You could you could tell when somebody's really like dedicated to playing defense just by their emotion, just her diving on the ball, making sure that she stole the ball and all that type of stuff. You don't normally see this in high school. She's doing a great job making her throw a bad pass and then recovering to the to the bad pass and not letting it go out of bounds by saving it. My advice for her on her jump shot is probably just, just jump because it looks like she just shot a, a set shot. But she does a great job just making a shot and staying locked in on defense. Usually people, they make a shot and they, they celebrate, but she's getting right in here and stealing the ball from the inbounder. Keeping her footwork and, and scoring again. Yeah, she did a great job by, by telegraphing that. I like, I like stealing the ball like that on 2K, but I don't do that normally in real life. The girl taking it out, she should have been paying more attention. It looked like she just was ready to throw the ball in because Dejanice hit a three on her. But she did a good job of, of stealing the ball and, sc and scoring against a bigger defender, too. Continue to play defense because it takes you a long way. And I like watching, watching players play defense. So, good job. Okay, let's check out PJ next. Whoa, hold on. He's dribbling the ball like that at 12. Crossover between, 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 step back. Yeah, I, I want to watch more clips of him. Of him. I'm just breaking down the defender, watching his feet, and seeing that the defender wasn't really guarding him, so he stepped back. I mean, I feel like if, if PJ wasn't dribbling like he was, then the defender would have been closer. But PJ's doing a great job of, of keeping the defender on his toes by just doing all these all these moves because you never know where he's going to go. Like, he thought he was going to go to the rim right there after crossover. You don't see 12 year olds doing this. He's in trouble right now because he lost the ball, but he gets the, he gets the ball back. He's guarded. He's getting guarded by, by two people. So obviously you could tell he's probably the best player on his team because he's getting almost triple team right now. There's another guy behind him and he spins between the two on a good split. So he's the bigger defender. He could have passed it to him right here, but he goes up. He probably was fouled right there, but he gets his own rebound, follows his shot. He does a great job at, at, at following a shot and making a basket. On a jump shot, I wouldn't say follow your shot because a lot of people say follow your shot on a jump shot, but on a layup, even like a floater or something, you should follow your shot. That's what I do. It was a good move for him getting out of that trap, but yeah, he could have dumped it off to his teammate for, for an easier layup. He does a great job recovering though. I, I really like your game, PJ. Just try to find your teammates more, and that's, that's about it. Other than that, everything looks great. Next, we yeah. have Amir Hurst. <laughs> nah, that, that gives me memories from, from when I was in high school. When I was in Flint, and people people weren't used to seeing freshmen dunk, so around that age, I, I was dunking the ball, so every time I had a fast break or something, people would would get up and cheer like that. He looks like he has a he has an old school type of game. It's not really a better feeling than this than getting a fast break by yourself and just being able to show off your athletic ability, especially when you're in high school. Look like you could tell how happy his teammates are for him. And in the crowd, well, it looks like an away crowd because they're not even getting up. It's a good looking dunk right there. This is called a DHO, dribble handoff. And he's catching, he's going downhill. Makes a quick stop. He really doesn't have to stop right here. He could he could have kept going. Probably Euro step that guy to get to his right hand. Say he goes all the way to the rim, and this defender helps. So he would just act like he's going left and go to his right hand. James Harden he he does it he does it a lot. Like he he acts like he's going to his left, and then well he acts like he's going to his right and then goes to his left. But right here he could act like he was going to his left. And go to his right, so Amir should have Euro step right there. That would look really nice. Yeah, he settles for a pull up. I mean, at that age in high school, you could you could shoot at your chest because he's getting elevation on his shot by jumping. Yeah, and, and he finishes up top. Has a great job holding his follow through. But my advice for him for like once he starts getting closer to college and the competition gets better, he should 
change his form to a little more over his head. So guys can't block your shot. It, it makes it easier for guys to block your shot if you're shooting from your chest. If that guy was a little bit taller and he was playing more aggressive on defense, he probably could have blocked it, but he stood still and didn't jump. His teammate throws him a bad pass, so he has to recover. Good catch right here. It looks like a big man closing out to him, so he has a slower defender closing out to him. He hits him with a good pump fake. That's a good fundamental pump fake. It looks like he can go to the rim. Yeah, he could have went to the rim. Yeah, he settles for a jump shot. It's wide open. Yeah, the defender got back in the picture. He, he could have went all the way to the rim and probably dunked it again. I mean, you could tell that he, he works on that. Pump fake one dribble, get to, get to your mid-range. I say not too many kids in high school have mid-range. Usually it's just threes and dunks. And you could tell by him walking away that he knew it was, it was good. Yeah, Amir, you're doing a great job on your fundamentals and your mid-range game. I would like to see you get to the basket more and show off your athletic ability. But yeah, you're doing a good job. Just, just take what the, what the defense gives you. Next up, we have Cole. His free throw looks pretty good. I mean, for me, I just, I, I spin the ball once just so I could get the seam of the ball and get a feel for the ball, and then I dribble it just one time. That's just a technique for me. Some people, they dribble it twice. I've seen this technique before. He does a great job bending his knees, shooting the ball off his tippy toes. Form looks pretty good right here. I have to say his hand should be more down instead of straight forward. You're at the free throw line, everybody's watching you shoot a shot. So it, it could get nervous, especially in the fourth quarter if, it's, if the game's tied or if you're down two and you're going to the free throw line for two shots. It gets a little nervous, but you practice a free throw for your whole life if you play basketball. So it should, it should come second nature to you. Like he does the same routine, nothing changes. A good job, Cole. Just keep working on your fundamentals. Last but not least, we have Tommy. Let's see what he's doing. Which one, which one is, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is, is he the one with two basketballs? Yeah, it's a hard drill to do, even for me nowadays. Yeah, so obviously he's, he's working on his, his ball handling skills right here. He's doing a great job. It looks like he's more advanced than the other kids because he's working off with two basketballs. Yeah, this drill right here is just him keeping the defender on his, on his hip after he comes off the screen, just so he can open himself up some more to get to the basket. So that's a, that's a good drill. He has, he has a good trainer. Final clip, let's see. Looks like he's shooting a jump shot. One. He's gonna make all these consecutively. Okay, he's shooting a high school three, so this is pretty good too. Usually little kids, they shoot from the chest, so I don't have any criticism right now for him. Three. The only kid I've seen that, that hasn't shot like that from the chest was probably Jason Tatum when I played against him. He always shot above his head. So, found a miss, made five in a row. What I see at the end is just when he missed his last shot, he just, he got a little frustrated with himself. I mean, you should just look at the, the big picture. He, he made five in a row. It's not wrong to get mad at yourself. Just try to keep it inside and not, and not show it. Tommy, you're doing a good job. Not too many kids at your age have that work ethic and that kind of mindset. So just don't get upset with yourself. Continue to get better and you, you'll be great. I'm Miles Bridges from the Charlotte Hornets. Thanks for watching, everybody.